Hello, this is Jesse Bourne. I'm going to give you guys five hacks for your CNC router that I have found are the best production tips for the CNC, my top five ideas, and I hope you guys enjoy. Tip number one is, at least with my machine, you can buy a number pad and you can control the CNC just via USB connected number pad. So say I want to take parts of the fourth axis, I can just move it right here with the click of a button and I can move my machine out of the way. If it's in my way, I can move it wherever I want to. That's super, super helpful because you don't have to run back and forth to the machine from here to your keyboard over there to keep moving the machine around. Incredibly helpful. That's tip number one. Tip number two, I found I can get much more space out of my machine if I put all these tools on linear rails and then just drop them out of the way. Now this is controlled by air cylinders, pneumatics, and as soon as the machine comes forward far enough to trip this uh, limit switch here, all of a sudden all of my tools will raise up to the height that they need to be for the machine to pick one off. As soon as it moves off of that limit switch, the tools drop out of the way. That's really helpful because I can use all of my space now and I don't have to worry about hitting a tool or backing into a tool. So tip number three is use a micrometer depth gauge to set the height of the machine when it's homed. So basically all, basically all CNC routers use these little flag switches to tell when the machine is homed. I find them not to be super accurate. So I just use a depth gauge like this I set it right up on top of here, and then I measure in the thousands or even half thousands where my machine is. And then I just hold, I just make sure the flag switch is tripped and I move it to wherever I reference home off of, and then I hit home all. And now my machine is perfectly home. That's super important. I also do it on the X axis. You see I 3D printed this little piece right there. I bring the machine over and I measure this distance here and I get it perfectly located every single time I home it. Tip number four is I tied the fourth axis together. I simply went into the wiring and you see that you've got four wires coming out of each of these stepper motors and so I just simply wired the two to the same uh, feed coming out of the machine and now when I turn one it turns both So this means that I can Cut multiple parts on multiple fourth axes. I don't have to unplug one and plug the other into the, my machine They're both just hardwired in there. But the fifth tip is to use a vacuum. It is just amazing what it can do I cut these these are parts that I just ran last night. It ran for about maybe three or four hours last night. I have the vacuum coming to here. There's a hole here where it comes up underneath the board. This one stopped because I'm not running this board because I have an extra of this board already cut. Uh, the same thing over there. But under here is a seal. And so the vacuum will only work in that seal when a board is on top of it. So I just put the board there, it sucks it all down. And then I machine over to the top and I just leave 10 or 20 thousandths of wood fiber to connect all the parts together so it doesn't completely break the vacuum. I'll put it in my laser just like that and I will cut the remaining of the tabs off so that I don't have any tabs left over. So there you go, those are my five CNC router hacks. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you find them useful. Um, the other bonus things I would throw in there is get yourself a drill like this for torquing down parts. You can set the torque rating on there so you don't blow out your screws on the acrylic. Um, this was like 25 or 30 bucks on Amazon and I set up my little tool changing station right here and I also use stop so that all my tools are sticking out one inch. There you go. Those are the bonus tips. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.